Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jesse. You're watching JLS Comics. Thanks for pressing play. Today we're talking about a movie that I'm very excited to share my thoughts on. Just got back from seeing it this morning. It is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, a 2018 animated film from Sony Pictures. I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat, I really, really like this film. It was a lot of fun uh, from the score to the visuals. The plot itself was just all right on point. Uh, first, I'll talk about the plot. Uh, it's very easy because this is about the Spider-Verse. It's a multiverse. It's very easy to get into a conversation about that and have it be very complicated and convoluted and require a lot of exposition that might bore you. But this film does a great job of keeping it very simple and very concise and you get right to the what you need to do, the, the important parts of what that means uh, for the story. The film follows primarily Miles Morales who's in New York City and he's learning his way. He just got powers. He's trying to figure out himself at the same time that he's helping out a whole host of other spider characters. Spider Ham, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man Noir is in it, and there are a lot of really funny moments and really funny interactions between the characters. I like that quite a bit, but I'm going to come back to the, the plot in a second. One of the things that is the absolute highlight of this film is the animation and the animation style and the variation there. Sony definitely gave free reigns to Sony Imageworks to express themselves in a different style and find a unique and compelling way visually to tell this story and they absolutely did. This is equal parts pop art, expressionism, street art, you see uh, inspirations of Banksy in there and there's a very heavy influence of course uh, from comic books. Miles Morales came from the uh, Ultimate Marvel Universe and you go from a amazing immersive splash page essentially to panels. It uses a heavy dose of panels um, and um, thought bubbles and narration squares as well as uh, Ben Day Dot. It's very heavily on that and there are so many different references in here from Stan Lee to Steve Ditko, Jack Kirby. Everybody's in there in, in some sort of way, uh, whether it's a reference, uh, an Easter egg, uh, or just an overt appearance. I was very happy with that. But I will say, uh, just in terms of the animation, this movie deserves awards. If this movie is not up for visual effects, VFX, CG, animation, something during the award season, I'll be very disappointed. Overall, I had a lot of fun with this movie. It was funny, it was a great story. Uh, it was just under two hours, it clocked in, I think at one hour and 47 minutes. Um, and I think you'll like it quite a bit. I said I was gonna come back to the plot for a moment. Uh, one thing that I would say, I. I was a little bit disappointed with was one of the plot threads. I'm not going to tell you, it's a spoiler free review, but there was something that happened that I wish had ended slightly differently. I was a little bit disappointed with that, but maybe they were leaving that for another film because there are sequel and spin offs already planned for this film as well. Again, no spoilers, I'm not going to tell you what I mean with that, but that kind of drops my story down just slightly. So overall, out of 10 stars, I'm giving this movie a 9.5 out of 10. Definitely give this movie a chance. Don't pass it up just because it's animation. I know December is very busy for films. Uh, this one should absolutely be on your radar. You should get your tickets. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. You're going to laugh. You're going to be on the edge of your seat, and you're going to be wowed by these amazing graphics. Uh, the choreography and the action scenes are very dynamic. They use different perspectives and different angles as you would really want to do with Spider-Man. You can really let loose here with animation in a way that you can't do with live action. Absolutely loved it. Can't wait to pick up the Blu-ray. And that's all we're going to say. So that's it, folks. That's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, this has been a review for Jesse uh, with JLS Comics. Uh, once you see the movie, definitely let me know your comments down below. If you have any questions about it, uh, I can answer those as well, assuming they're spoiler-free. And uh, if this is your first time here, definitely hit the subscribe button. Love to have you here as part of the ever-growing JLS Comics family. We have a lot of content coming up. We upload comic book and superhero related content weekly. So you'll be the first to know once that's up if you hit that subscribe button and then the little bell next to it. That's it. This is Jesse here with JLS Comics and I will see you in the next video.